Love it, love it, love it. All right, hey, we are busting three common myths today of weight loss. So we have Dr. Frank Dockler joining us this morning. He is the founder of Healthy One Weight Loss. And I really, as I was looking at my card, I was I really like this, this topic because I think a lot of people will want to hear these myths because I think a lot of people believe these things, as I would. Yes. And you're going to break the myths for us right now. The first yes. one is... Eating too much fat is the cause of weight gain. Right. I think a lot of people still think along these lines. But if, if anything, uh, anyone familiar with the keto diets or the mm -hmm. paleo diets have seen, that's not actually true. Those are heavy on proteins and fats. And I'm not saying people should go on a keto diet. But in those cases, people lose weight very rapidly. It's actually sugars. And, and I think we all know this. But this is something that came out of the 50s and 60s and a big push in the 80s and 90s on the fat-free um, putting a large amount of sugar and artificial sweeteners into foods and what do we see as a population? We just continue to get bigger and bigger and the obesity rates continue to go up. Um, it's one of the things that we uh, talk about in our lectures at the office and this is the number one thing we, we attribute to because you have to have fat for energy. Our bodies do well with it, but the right fats too. You gotta, it's got to be the right fats. got to be the right fats, yes. Clarifying that. The second one you had here is cholesterol is dangerous for our bodies. So, yeah, and this goes along the line of the fats. Um, when someone comes into our office, one of the first things they want to tell me about is the cholesterol rates and how high those things are. And, and cholesterol by itself is not, does not mean anything. It doesn't mean that you're prone to heart disease. It doesn't mean that you're not prone to heart disease. You have to look at a lot of other factors. Keep in mind, cholesterol is essential. You have to have it for hormone production. You need it for vitamin D production, so our immunity. And your cell walls need it for, for regrowth and rebuilding because all your cells recycle within your system. So without cholesterol, those benefits, including short-term memory, are all affected. Oh, well, and that's that's one of my issues. My my memory is not that great, I will tell <laughs> you that. Maybe I need more cholesterol. Maybe I need more cholesterol <laughs> in my diet. Okay, and the, the last one you had here was weight loss is just about reducing calories. Yes, oh, the, so the caloric model, um, that is flawed from the ground up. Uh, one is how we predict or, or, or estimate those individual calories. But anybody who's ever tried to lose weight by just reducing the amount of food, they probably saw a short-term benefit and, and loss of weight, but then that, the body adapts. The body is very intelligent. We have this innate intelligence that allows that to happen. It sees you in a starvation mode, and so it starts to lower. But at the same time, it starts to also lower your me metabolic rate. So all functions in the body start to become affected by just reducing calories. So a very, very flawed model. So when you have, a, you clearly do the, you'll have, seminars, you'll, mm -hmm. you'll teach people, have lectures. So yes. it, w when people come to visit you there, what all, there, there's a lot that you're offering to them. Yes, uh, you know, it's not just about losing the weight, it's about education. We, 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 don't want, we don't want people coming back if they don't have to come back because they put on the weight a year or two afterwards. Um, I want this to be the last stop that they ever make. And a lot of that's through education. And with that education, they're also able to take these same principles and help their families. So if your mom or grandma or grandpa, now your kids or your grandkids are starting to see you eating like this and, and have this knowledge base. And I just think that's one of, the, one of the greatest benefits of what we do is that education side of it. So you're breaking myths, which a lot of people might be thinking about, and then, but then you're giving them the tools that they need in order yes. to succeed. And yes. you're, so you're telling them things like, okay, what really does cause the weight gain? Or how do you, and do you, I mean, it's probably not a universal thing for everyone. You, do you find that for everyone, there's maybe some different things that they need yeah. to incorporate? So everybody starts from a different spot. I mean, some people come in and they're just not eating enough, but then they're binging in the evening. Some people just have a, a lot going on, a lot of stress. So you have, to, you have to take every case individually and see what works for them. And just because you have a couple of recommendations, just because I say eat a little more fish or a little more chicken, what if someone doesn't like fish? <laughs> so you have, sure. to, you have to do things that are practical uh, and, and work within their lifestyle and, and habits over time. It has to be sustainable or, or it just doesn't work. We've got to go, but I have to just ask quickly, the c candidates, who, who, who do you see coming into your office? Uh, you know, we have everybody, uh, men and women from ages. Our youngest patient is 12. My oldest is uh, 88. So everybody, typically it's uh, women in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, it depends on the time of the year as mm -hmm. well, but anybody who's actually having an issue with that, people with diabetes and thyroid is where we really started this whole program from, working with them and helping to get their medications. He's a one-stop shop, but he's very helpful. <laughs> uh, Dr. Frank Dockler, again, joining us from Healthy Bomb Weight Loss. Thank you so much thank you. for coming. I appreciate it. Like dispelling the myths. I love that. <laughs>